ID RA6, the last control inside of the risk assessment category. Risk responses are identified and prioritized. Now that we've gone through controls one through five, where we've identified the likelihood, the vulnerabilities, the impacts, now it's time to figure out have we been able to determine what the actual response activities could be and have they been prioritized? So do you have a remediation plan and action uh, plan in place to mitigate the risk to the organization's operations, the assets, individuals, or other organizations that you're working with, such as vendors or key customers? Is there a comprehensive strategy to manage the risk to the organization's operations and assets? Has the risk management uh, plan been implemented and socialized, and is it consistent across the organization, or do only a few people understand and are aware of the plan? Has risk reduction mitigation measures been identified and prioritized within that plan? Do you understand what it is that you're actually going to need to do to be able to reduce the risk should a business impact occur? And has a detailed strategy for individual systems been able to address the risk not only to those individual systems, but those individual systems' larger uh, impact to the larger ecosystem from which they exist or sit within. See, everything being interconnected, an impact on one area can have an adverse effect on another. The response activities for one could be effective in helping the response activities in another or just in the organization as a whole. So, by identifying and prioritizing these risk responses, again, looking at something as simple as your, your disaster recovery plans, your business impact analysis uh, plans, these are key areas to be able to go to already for information on how you may be addressing this control.